Welcome to this Kairos presentation. We will be looking at human rights in relation to migrant workers in Canada. Who has rights? All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. This is what it says in the very first article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of December 10, 1948. The notion of human rights has become one of the most important in the history of humankind. But what exactly are human rights? Who is responsible for protecting them? And do they really apply to all people? We describe human rights as those rights which apply to every single person simply because he or she is a human being. They are innate. Human rights apply to every person in every part of the world, without exception. They are therefore universal. They also apply equally to everyone, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, skin color, age, or other features that may distinguish one person from another. Human rights are part of international law. Everyone has human rights, regardless of age, gender, race, sexual orientation, or status. You have rights, and no one can take them from you. Human rights are inalienable, meaning they can't be taken away. They are interdependent, meaning that all rights work together and are equally important. They promote equality, meaning everyone has the exact same rights as everyone else. The United Nations adopted the Bill of Rights in 1948, and it is the international standard for human rights work. It outlines rights such as the right to have good work and a basic standard of living, plus the right to be free from all forms of mistreatment and discrimination. The Global Compact for Safe, Orderly, and Regular Migration, as well as the International Convention on the Protection of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families, are two key documents which further protect the rights of migrant workers. Canada has yet to sign on to the International Convention on the Protection of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families. Regardless of passports or visas, we all have the same fears and hopes. And as human beings, we are entitled to the same fundamental rights, no matter where we are or why we are there. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms is part of Canada's constitution. Everyone, regardless of their status, is protected by the Charter. It outlines rights including the right to life and liberty and the right to be protected by the law. So if someone violates your Charter rights, they are breaking the law. Yet, migrant workers continue to experience rights violations in Canada. Each province and territory has its own office for filing complaints if a person's rights have been violated. Anyone, including migrant workers, can file a human rights complaint. However, many migrant workers do not feel it is safe to do so because they do not have the correct information or they are afraid of reprisal from their employer. According to the Canadian Council of Refugees, rights without enforcement are no rights at all. All government officials have a role in making sure migrant workers' rights are enforced and they have access to services. Government officials must receive proper training and oversight to ensure that they respect migrant workers' rights. Now that we've learned about human rights, it is time to look at the rights through the experiences of migrant workers. The question is, what are my rights as a temporary foreign worker? Employers are responsible for paying recruitment fees and the return trip of the worker. Temporary foreign workers do not pay for travel costs or any recruitment fees. However, many migrant workers are forced to pay for fees and travel and arrive in debt. Employers must follow provincial and territorial laws regarding minimum wage, overtime, and statutory holiday pay. If the migrant worker's contract states a wage higher than the minimum, the contract must be respected. However, many migrant workers are paid less than what they are owed, and employers make illegal deductions on their paychecks to reduce their pay even more. Employers must pay for the first three months of health insurance for their workers. Temporary foreign workers have the right to access health care at any time and can sign up for provincial and territorial health insurance after three months. However, many workers still fear accessing health services for fear of being punished by their employers. Employers are responsible for registering the worker for provincial and territorial workplace safety insurance, providing a safe working environment, and reporting any injuries. However, many workers are pressured to not report workplace injuries or accidents. 
Temporary foreign workers have the same rights as other workers in Canada and have access to the majority of services available to other workers in Canada. However, many temporary foreign workers are not told about their rights or where they can access services. Migrant workers must know how to exercise their rights and access the services they are entitled to. Sometimes it's helpful to understand rights by envisioning an ideal world where all rights are respected. If everyone's rights were respected, you would have adequate mental health supports and be able to reunite with your family. You would have access to permanent residency status. You would be able to access all services in Canada without fear. You would enjoy a comfortable work environment free from sexual harassment or other forms of harassment. You would have safe and comfortable housing for you and your family and you would have safe working conditions where any injuries were taken seriously. This ideal should be happening all the time. We can see the gap between rights and reality and know what further advocacy must be done to make sure all migrant workers' rights are respected. There are many ways that you can make sure that your rights are respected, regardless of who you are or the circumstances that you may experience. Migrant workers have the right to access several services such as medical support, legal services, social supports, and immigration services, all without fear of punishment from their employers or other officials. Some Canadian government services such as EI and settlement support are not accessible to migrant workers, but this must change. Allies are people who recognize the privilege they have and take responsibility for changing injustices around them. In the context of this presentation, allies are people who are not migrant workers, but care about making sure that all migrant workers have their rights respected. Allies can use their privilege to make space for migrant workers to share their stories and advocate for themselves. There are many ways for migrant workers and allies to speak up and try to ensure that all people's rights are respected. Kairos works with migrant workers to create advocacy goals that try to address the most widespread human rights abuses. Kairos's current advocacy goals are permanent residency upon arrival so migrant worker status is protected, better access to support services so migrant workers can access the help that they need, and open work permits for all migrant workers so they have more mobility and freedom. Migrant workers both within Canada and around the world are organizing to ensure that their rights are respected. The following clip is from a recent protest by migrant workers in Ontario. So every day, we are being isolated from our families, from our kids. And so, we strongly demand the right to apply for permanent residency. We demand an end to recruitment fees. We demand the status for all temporary foreign workers. We are not responsible. Join a local migrant workers organization or organize one in your community or sector. You are entitled to have your rights respected at all times. Do not be afraid to make your voice heard. Thank you for watching this Kairos presentation about migrant workers' rights.